The mod-like robotic system presented here has been bio-inspired from a snake's vertebrae and a caterpillar's leg structure. This modular system can be configured to be a four-legged robotic dog, a six-legged hexpod, a snake and a caterpillar. A universal simulator with a unique API was developed which gave a single point control over the virtual model in the physics engine and the real prototype of the robot. Here, the spinal cord of the robot, based on the design of the snake's vertebrae, made the robot's motion compliant to terrain, overcoming small obstacles and slopes. The same was observed on this prototype hexpod, which is a rather smaller version of the caterpillar. Here, since the robot's virtual model in the physics engine was designed to closely replicate the real robot, the simulation results match the real-time results. The robotic spinal cord can be controlled for maneuvering the robot. In this real-time demo, it can be seen that the shape of the robotic spine decides the heading of the robot's gait. In the simulation shown here, where the robot is arranged in the four-legged configuration, we were able to achieve two kinds of motion. One is the static walk and the other is the dynamic walk. The advantage of this modular system is that even if few modules get damaged, the robot can continue to locomote with the rest of the modules. As seen here, the robot in the four legged configuration requires less number of actuators as compared to the six legged and other higher configurations. Here, the four legged configuration climbs over a slope. Also, the robot was made stable over surfaces with varying and unpredictable slopes. Here in this simulation, the slope of the platform is being varied using an accelerometer as an input device. The virtual model can be seen to stabilize itself. Here in this real-time test, the robot changes its posture with negative gain to stabilize over the platform. Also, we tested for swimmable robot designs. The integrated design and control environment enabled us to test which stroke pattern was best and which design provided good forward velocity. This also reduced design time. Last but not the least, the robot can also be configured to work like a snake robot with just the spinal structure and not the legs. We hope this unified